create this quick card using Imagine Crafts versatile Opalite ink pads. I'm going to begin by using our Opalite Orchid Ice on a navy cardstock. I'm going to pick up some of the Orchid Ice with one of our sponge daubers and I'm just going to go right along the edge of the card. For the second step of this card we're going to create our fleur-de-lis layering piece and again I'm using our Orchid Ice and my sponge dauber and I'm just going to cover the entire layering piece with my Orchid Ice color. Use my Opalite Sterling Frost. I'm going to quickly edge my layering piece card just to give it a little bit of a silver border. And now I'm going to ink up my Fleur de Lis stamp with my Sterling Frost. And I'm going to put that right down here in the middle. And because this is a pigment ink, I'm going to let this set aside and dry. You can also heat set this with your heat gun. Now we're going to create our large background with the Fleur de Lis background stamp. And I'm going to use my Glacier Blue Opalite ink pad. And this time I'm just going to put that directly onto my navy cardstock. And as you can see, if you do direct ink pad to the paper and kind of twist it, you're going to have the blue stand out a lot more in certain areas. Now if you'd like to blend this a little more, you can use one of our jumbo daubers and just blend the ink in. The finished look is completely up to you. There's no right or wrong with this. I'm going to ink up my large fleur-de-lis stamp using Opalite and the Sterling Frost again. And I'm now going to just lay this down and press onto the stamp. You can't stamp this down the other way. I just want to make sure I make a really good impression on here. Again, I'm going to just set this aside for a moment, let it dry while I color my ribbon. This is a piece of sheer navy ribbon. And I'm going to take my Orchid Ice Opalite ink pad again and I'm just going to go directly onto the ribbon. And what this is doing is just adding a little bit of purple on here. So now it's time to assemble our card and I just want to show you that I have already put all my adhesive onto all of my layering pieces. So the assembly is going to go so much quicker. To begin with I have my background Fleur de Lis card and I'm going to take my Orchid Ice colored ribbon and I'm just going to tuck the edges around and to the back side and I'm going to hold that down with some of the adhesive. And then this whole entire piece is just going to get centered onto the front of my card. And then lastly I'm going to take my small layering piece with the single fleur de lis on it. Pop that right down on there. 